I just heard the oven go off, so let's go grab that and see how it looks. Here's what we're gonna need for this morning's breakfast casserole. I have the oven preheating to 400 degrees. We have three eggs with some salt and pepper and also one third cup of unsweetened almond milk, two ounces of Velveeta cheese, six pieces of bacon. I went ahead and just used this kind and I did Cook it ahead of time because I like the bacon to be really crispy. So that's what we have here. It's already cooked. Then we're going to need five sheets of phyllo dough. This is about maybe a half a cup to a cup of broccoli. Since broccoli is zero points on all plans, we're not going to worry about how much you throw in there. Put in it however much you like. But I have this thawing out and I'm just going to chop it up. Then we also need, obviously, some salt and pepper. We also need some onion powder, some granulated garlic, one cup of egg whites, and then right here in my casserole dish, I've sprayed that with some olive oil, and then I have my five sheets of phyllo dough kind of broken out right here and laid in the casserole dish, and I also sprayed a little bit of olive oil over the top of that. And then we're going to add in the onion powder, and I'm just going to do maybe a teaspoon, not that much. And the same thing with the garlic. This is not garlic salt, by the way. It's just granulated garlic powder. Get that mixed up. And then we're going to Pour that right over the top of our phyllo, and that phyllo is going to puff up. Now we're going to take our cup of egg whites and put that over the top. That's my broccoli over there beeping. I thawed it out a little bit quicker in the microwave because now all I'm going to do is just chop it up into small pieces. Here's the broccoli, and that looks like about a cup to me. So for people who like to be really, really exact, I would say that that's about a cup. So let's just get that in there. I love broccoli, so for me, you can almost never have too much. All right, always do this. That's why I have to have an apron. You know, I make a mess. Okay, next we're just gonna pick up our bacon and break that in. This is going to be very delicious. I love this casserole. I'm going to eat this all week. And then I'm just going to take my Velveeta, my two ounces of Velveeta, and spread that out. So as this bakes, you're going to, you're going to bake this covered. I'm going to put a piece of aluminum foil over the top. And this does usually take about Oh, 35-ish minutes to cook, sometimes a little more, sometimes 40. Okay, does that not look delicious already? So I'm going to cover this with tin foil. The oven, it looks like it's ready, so we're going to get this in a 400 degree preheated oven. I thought we'd have a, have a little coffee talk while I'm waiting for this to bake. So a lot of you have asked how I did on my first couple weeks on the green plan. So just in case you don't know, I lost 40 pounds on WW Freestyle, which is now of course WW Blue. And when we were allowed the option to choose a different plan, I thought, well, you know, what the heck? I wasn't one of those that was unhappy with Freestyle at all because that's the only plan that I've ever done on Weight Watchers. So for me, it worked, you know, but because I have a YouTube channel, and because I'm really close to goal and because I have a food blog and, you know, I just wanted to experience the other plans, I decided that I was going to spend a month on each of the other plants. Now, that said, I would have immediately 
diverted had I started gaining weight. So the first one that I did for a month was purple. And on purple, I did fine. I was really worried that I was going to go carb crazy and I was going to eat nothing but baked potatoes and rice. I don't know why I thought I would do that, but that's what I thought. And that didn't happen. So I did fine on purple. Um, I, it kind of gave me the same effect that freestyle did. But in all fairness, I went through purple during the holidays and I didn't do good during the holidays at all. Like, I don't even think that I would say I was dieting in all fairness. Like maybe I was dieting two meals out of the three at best. So overall, on the purple plan, I gained almost seven pounds, but honestly, it has nothing to do with purple. It has everything to do with Thanksgiving and Christmas. So in order to get a more fair, um, how is my body gonna respond to purple, I'm gonna have to do it again, which is fine. I, don't, I didn't have a problem with the carbs at all. In fact, it kind of gave me the opposite effect that I watched it closer. I weighed every single carb that I ate that was on that zero point purple list. Okay, that said, week and a half ago, I did green, started green. First week on green, I lost 1.8 pounds. I'm into the second week now, and I don't weigh for another couple days, but I'll update you guys on where I end up. But you know, really with the holidays, when you gain weight, it's kind of like reverse dieting. When you gain weight and you're giving your body more calories, you do create that bounce effect. Remember when you started WW and you hopefully lost a lot of weight in that first month? You do give yourself that kind of bounce effect. So what I'm doing right now, you know, I don't want to take that as okay, green works and this is why, or purple doesn't work and this is why, because you do have to consider how you ate through the month that you were on that plan. I just heard the oven go off, so let's go grab that and see how it looks. It's been 40 minutes and our puff and bubble bacon and egg casserole looks absolutely delicious. This is exactly what we wanted it to do. You can kind of see it's browned on the edges, packed with bacon and broccoli. You can even see the cheese through there. This is going to be so delicious.